guys, Ross here. Happy to be back with you for another shave. You could have been doing anything else, but you chose to click on this video and watch it. And for that, I thank you. Thank you very much. So today we're gonna to be using and revisiting one of my absolute all time favorite scents in wet shaving. Um, it is going to be Declaration Grooming's Dark Fall. Um, I think I've had this for at least two, maybe three years now. I, obviously, this is in the new milk steak base, which I'll be talking about as I go through the shave. Darkfall is described as a spicy oriental. It contains notes of agarwood, amber, benzoin, clove, cinnamon, birch tar, and tree moss. I hope I didn't leave one out. And really, for me, I can just tell you off the top that it I get uh, a very dry sort of smokiness to it. Um, very reminiscent of fallen leaves on the ground on a fairly brisk, cool day. Um, I, I think it's an absolutely fantastic scent that many uh, on the East Coast, especially where this is inspired from in the Northeast, um, can really uh, relate to. So um, I'm going to actually get lathered up and we're going to get right into this shave. All right, we're back. So I've got the soap loaded up here in my Declaration Grooming uh, Jefferson B1. So let's get into a face lather. As you can see, I did take some of the excess off of the puck and sort of apply it to my face. If you want to call it pre-shave, if you will. I probably loaded this for about 30 to 40 seconds. Um, <clears throat> what I can tell you off the bat about the soap is that it does go back to the softer end in terms of consistency. So it does uh, sort of resemble more of the original bison base than the last base, which was Icarus. And from what I gather, um, I managed to catch Scott do sort of a, uh, a live AMA, if you will, um, on Facebook um, just before the release so that he could talk about it a little bit. And um, it sounds like this kind of came about, you know, we as uh, consumers always have sort of a, I guess, nitpicky things that we're looking for. And from what I gather, you know, originally with the bison base, a lot of people um, complained that it was just, the soap was too soft. You know, if, if you uh, didn't really hydrate it, you would sort of get a really stringy consistency with the lather. Icarus was sort of the opposite. Icarus was a very, very firm soap. And I think the consensus is that it would take considerably longer to, to dial it in. And one of the other big things, which I never personally had an issue with, but I do know that many others did, was the funk from the base. Um, I personally never had any issues with that, even upon initially receiving soaps. Maybe I'm just not as uh, sensitive to to that base and the ingredients than others. So I I never really knocked it, but I do know a lot of others that did sort of detect that animalic musk and base note, if you will, from the ingredients. Not note, but just the ingredients. <clears throat> this milk steak base, though, is um, it is quite thirsty. You can add a considerable amount of water to this. I did have, I did leave my brush a little bit um, more damp than usual, so I think that actually helped me because this is pretty much looking to be right where I need it. All right. As you can see, this still produces a fairly low structure lather. I 
I personally prefer the more low structure lathers. It's just seems to be less messy. All right. So I've actually been giving this razor a little bit of a run, um, just to kind of just see how it is and, uh, just see what the experience is all about. I'm going to be using the Rex ambassador with a fresh Gillette silver blue. Um, and I do have a, um, a day's worth of facial hair growth. I'm going to start this on three. So to get back to the base itself, um, I think the idea is to take the positives from both the bison base and Icarus and bring them together. So the soap consistency of this, as I mentioned, is closer to the original bison base, but I would not say it's as soft. It does contain bison tallow. It's also got goat's milk, lanolin, yogurt, buttermilk, egg whites, bentonite clay. Um, it's, it's got quite a plethora of ingredients. But what I can tell you in terms of performance is uh, this is an excellent base. Despite the fact that it's, it's a thirstier soap, I still find it easier to dial in, um, especially easier than Icarus. And given, you know, the issues with stringiness with the original Bison base, I've not had any issues with milk steak so far. The slickness is amazing. As you can see, I have no issues buffing, going over areas without lather. This, uh, this lather itself is very, very dense. I know cushion is kind of a subjective metric. I would say that um, just in terms of the, the consistency and the density of the lather, it does just provide a nice barrier between, you know, the blade and, um, and your face and potentially overdoing it, over shaving a little bit. But that was an excellent first pass. I'm gonna finish this shave off camera and we'll come back for some final thoughts. All right guys, we're back. I finished it off with the old school label, Dark Fall Aftershave. Just, there's no better way to, to finish off this shave really. Um, so in conclusion, the milk steak base, I would say is absolutely a top tier performer. Um, it, it stands amongst any other base out there in my opinion. Um, I would highly suggest checking it out. There's been plenty of um, a variety of scents that have been released already. Um, so I would highly recommend checking it out. I got an absolutely incredible shave. I've kind of been uh, really testing the performance of this since I got it. And um, I actually did a rare against the grain pass on my mustache area. I had one tiny little weeper. It's been far worse in the past in my experience. But other than that, I'm pretty much BBS, which I don't usually um, get with, with DE shaves. So I would highly recommend checking this out if you're in the market and at all interested in the milk steak base. Well, that's it for me, guys. I enjoyed the shave. I hope you all did as well. And I look forward to seeing you for the next one. See ya.